Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to recolor elements in an image in Photoshop. The image that I'm working on is here and what I want to do is to recolor these green areas to be more red like this particular boat is. So I'm going to start by duplicating the background layer. So I'm just going to drag it onto this icon here and it's not going to be dead easy to recolor this because there are lots of shades of green in here. So the first thing is to make a selection and the tool I'm going to use to make a selection is this Select Color Range tool. This allows me to click on a color in the image and it will then select that color and a certain range of colors around it. To add more colors, I can just click on the plus symbol. So I'm going to click on the colors of green, the sort of areas that I want to start affecting. Now this image is from 123rf.com. That's a stock site for royalty-free stock images. And I happen to really like that site. The images are fairly inexpensive and they're a different quality that you might see elsewhere on the web and I kind of like it. So I found this image and thought it would be a really good example to use here. So I'm just going to select over the areas I want to affect. If I get too many, I'm going to click this minus option here and just deselect the areas that I don't want to affect here. And there's probably a bit down the side of the boat up the top here that I've grabbed that I didn't want to and a bit of down here that I didn't really want to. This tool is really good for making selections without having to do all the work and after all that's a really good thing. I never like to do too much with work if I can help it. So I think I have the greens fairly well selected so I'm just going to click OK and these will now be a selection on this duplicate background layer. I'm going to modify this so I'm going to choose Select Refine Edge to just refine the edges of this selection. I can see it on white or on black or I can see marching ants so I can determine exactly how I want to see it. I'm going to add a bit of a feather because I want to soften the edges a bit but I'm also going to shift the edge so it's a little bit bigger so that we're going to affect sort of a little bit of the areas around this and I could also go for a better contrast if I wanted to. I could smooth the edges, I'm not going to do that. And I could also use this Refine Edge brush here to actually refine the edges and have Photoshop do a better job of actually picking out these edges. Now I'm not going to be too fussy right now because we're really here to do the recoloring and provided you can get a pretty good selection with this tool, we're often on our way. So I'm going to output to a selection, click OK. So now I have a selection on this layer, I'm going to use a hue adjustment layer. Now I have a selection on this layer, I'm going to create a adjustment layer fix. So I'll choose layer, new adjustment layer and I'm going to choose hue saturation because that's a really good adjustment layer for changing color. So I'll just click OK to select it and bring over my hue saturation adjustment. Now we have a mask on this layer and so we're only targeting the areas that were green. So as we work on them, we should be able to recolor them. I can use one of two options. Either I can just use the regular sliders or I can opt to colorize. And what I'm looking for here is a red color where we had green. So I'm going to go around here until I pick up the red that I want. Now it's at one end of or other of these sliders. So I think probably this one will do me and I'm going to increase the saturation of it. As you can see it's not quite matching that one so let's go back and see if the other end of the slider is going to be a better match. Probably is. Increase the saturation a bit, work on the lightness, maybe adjust the color point a little bit to try and match that other boat a bit better. I've got a pretty good match through here so I'm going to call that good and so I'll just click that adjustment to select it. Now I could stay there with the color fix that I've got. There is one further step that you may want to look at and that is to turn the blend mode of this adjustment layer into color because that will quite often give you a better effect. Now it has actually given me probably a better effect but I'm thinking that my saturation is not really quite enough now. So I'm going to go back to this adjustment layer, boost the saturation a little bit, perhaps 
adjust the color a little bit but as you can see I can now work on the image and recolor it to suit my needs and I can recolor it to just about any color and if I find that the colorize options not doing it for me I can go back to this other hue saturation and that may give you a better result but because you're working live on the image here you can really work until you get the exact color combination that you want and because this is all on a layer you can also paint it in and out as desired so we may decide that we don't want to affect this woman here so let's just close this down let's go to our hue saturation adjustment layer I'm going to pick up a brush tool I've got a really good brush already in position there I'm going to paint in black here to just mask out this area so just make sure I've black selected got my mask selected and then just paint over this person to bring back the green color in it and leaving this other red color where we want it. So you have a lot of flexibility with this tool using select color range to find your color and then applying a hue saturation adjustment layer to that image because you've got the area already selected you're only going to affect the area that you want. This is our original image and this is our recolored version. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more of my videos on my YouTube channel.